Hey, good morning, Cleaners Connect. What's up, guys? About to go ahead and uh, knock some jobs out. I hey, uh, want to do a video this morning. Uh, hopefully, a lot of you guys will take heed to this. Uh, again, this message and this video isn't uh, meant for everybody, um, but a lot of you guys, it really is. What's up, Tyrone? Uh, haven't seen you in a while, bro. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this video title, a lot of you guys are losers, because a lot of you guys are. And the reason why I say you're losers because of your mentality, the way you think. Um, you know, guys, I have a lot of cleaners. I've had a lot of guys in this industry reach out to me crying, whining, crying. I'm talking about crying, guys. And it's okay. It's okay to cry. It's okay to have someone to talk to um, when you are dealing with certain things or things aren't going right in your life. Um, I've just been one of those guys that people reach out to. And I listen because I care. But, but what pisses me off the most, what pisses me off the most is like, you know, every now and then uh, we, we have certain members and they'll come show their business model, how they do things. Um, and it's nothing wrong with that because to each his own, it's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, we'll have members, you know, that will come on here, display how they do things, how they, uh, you know, how they operate. You know those some of those members will say oh you don't need what the big boys need you don't need this you don't need that you don't have to have the highest prices you don't have to you know give a show you know you don't have to do the dog and pony show and those same cleaners that had reached out to me or they follow some of us on these platforms and they say oh man i want to be like that man I, I want my business model to be like that i want to have the seal of doors i want to have the corner guards i want to have there we go. I'm back, guys. Bad signal. Uh, those cleaners, you know, they'll say they want, they want better. They'll say they want better for their business. They'll say they want better. They want to make more money. They, they're tired of working hard, you know. And the reason why I can relate, guys, is because I've been there. I've been there. I know the struggle, okay? You know, but, but, but what pisses me off is that you have these cleaners that they, you know, I call them flip-floppers. They flip-flop. You know, they, 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 you know, they'll see something, someone like me doing, you know, the way I do it. Oh man, man, Courtney, man, I like that, man. I like, I like your business model, blah, blah, blah. And then somebody else will come along and they'll be doing it their way, you know, and then they'll, no, no, oh man, yeah, you right, you right. You don't need all that. You don't need all that. You don't need the seal of door. You know, you know, you don't need, you know, uh, to be trying to put on a dog and pony show. You don't, you don't need to be the highest price. Those kind of cleaners, guys, and the guys, you know, again, if you are, this, this not for everybody, but a lot of you cleaners that flip flop, you, 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 you are losers. I mean, you have a losing mentality because the reason why, the reason why, guys, at the end of the day, you are looking for the easy way out. So when someone gets on these platforms and they make it look easy or they make it look easier than what some of us are doing, you guys then jump on that bandwagon, okay? And uh, now, now you agree with that person, okay? Now you agree. That, that's that's what I call a flip flopper, okay? You don't know what you want. And again, guys, you're the one that have to deal with the uh, however your business and your life play out. You know, it, it, it's crazy that I see some of the guys who's been in this industry and doing it just as long as me, still going through the same problems you was going through ten years ago. Ten years ago. But all it takes is one person to get on here and say you don't need to better yourself. You don't need to do this. You don't need to do that. And you guys just just go with it. Yeah, he right. You don't need all that. You don't, you don't you don't have to be better. I don't have to be high. I don't have to have premium prices. I don't need a new van, you know. You know, my van already paid off. I mean, guys, that that's that's, that's a losing mentality. All right? And that's and, and I hate to say it, when I see here and read these comments, like, dude, you were just pouring your heart out to me damn three months ago. Like, some of you guys, how you struggling? You know, how you ain't making no money? And, and I think about it, I said, damn, your prices are the same as the guy who was just telling you you don't need all that. So what's the problem? So at the end of the day, guys, the price isn't the answer, okay? That's what a lot of cleaners have to understand. You're setting your damn price for your business structure is not the damn answer to your problems. You are the answer to your problems. I can make money at $15 a room. I can make money at $30 a room. 
I can make money at fifty dollars a row. It's just how I structure my business and know how to operate my business based off those prices. Okay, your price is charging twenty dollars a room, charging thirty dollars a room, charging fifty dollars a room isn't your answer. You even got some guys on here talking about they charge ninety a room. Okay, but 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 they can't. Can you show me that on a consistent basis? No, you can't. Okay, because you haven't figured out how, how to make that a consistent income. Okay, you again, you can charge what the hell you want to charge. You can charge a, a damn million dollars a room if you want to. But guys, you have to understand what you're doing. And and, and, and and every time, I'm just saying, every time somebody get on these platforms and they make it look easier, you know, you know, uh, they say, oh, man, oh, the, the, the big boys, you ain't got to do what the big boys doing. Why not? See, that's the problem. Everybody always telling you what you shouldn't do. Well, you know what? Sometimes my answer is, well, why shouldn't I do it? If everybody telling me not to do it, well, I'm, I think the opposite. Maybe, maybe it's something I should do. Maybe it is something that will improve me, improve my business. Because a lot of times, guys, when, when you get certain things in your life, when you get certain things in your business, you know what it does? Sometimes it, shit, it, 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 it improves your confidence. It makes you feel better as a person. It makes you feel better as a businessman. It makes you feel better as a husband. Sometimes you need certain things in your life, you know? And like I said, losers, people who are losers, they don't understand that. So they always looking for the easy way out. Whatever is the easy way out, just I just want to get by. I just want to float by. I mean, guys, that's fine. That's 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 a okay. I'm not against anyone that wants to live that way. I don't. I want to live the best life I can live, and I, and I'm going to keep pushing forward until the day I die. But my thing is, my thing is, for a lot of you cleaners out there that reach out to me, a lot of you guys. That, that that I listen to, I listen to your your sob stories. I listen, you know, to 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 you know you being uh, not happy the way your business is going. Uh, I listen to it, but it, 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 it's like you know. W w but then when social media kicks back in, and you start seeing how other people operate, then it's like okay, what I said. Or what I'm trying to help you on doesn't matter because someone came, made it look easier, or say you don't need that, and now you jump on that bandwagon. Okay, that, that, that's what a lot of you guys do, and that's why as the years continue to go by, as the years and the months continue to go by, and the seasons continue to change, nothing in your life is going to change. The only thing that's going to change is time. That's the only thing that's going to change is time. But nothing in your life is going to change because at the end of the day, you don't even know what the hell you want to do. You just flip flopping. You just flopping. You just one minute you over here and the next minute you over here and the next minute, you know, you, you want to do what this person doing and the next minute you want to do what this. No, guys, sometimes you need to sit down, sit down and just stand still and, and just get your, <laughs> your, 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 your mindset together. A lot of you guys, your, your mindset ain't even pulled all the way together. That's why it's so easy to manipulate so many people in the world because a lot of people don't know what the hell they want. A lot of people in this world don't even know what the hell they want to do. And that goes for a lot of you guys too. A lot of you guys don't know what you want to do in this business. So you just do whatever just comes your way. One minute you want to do this, and the next minute you want to do this, and the next minute you want to do this business model, and the next minute you want to do that business model. Guys... Slow down. First, understand what you want to do. What do you want to do? Not what I'm doing. Not what this guy's doing. Not what that guy's doing. Because at the end of the day, guys, we I'm going to tell you, I might be one of the very few that might show you the most, but I don't show you everything. Everybody is not showing you everything. What you're looking at, you're just looking at me through a screen. Okay, I, I think I'm on Facebook maybe three hours a day. So I still got 21 hours left in the day. You guys don't know what the hell I'm doing. So you guys are just, you, 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 you're just getting a very small portion of what people are doing on social media. Once that camera goes off, once that phone shuts down, once they get out of this app, you don't know what the hell they're doing. 
So that's why you need to focus on what you need to be doing. Because, again, it's so easy. It's so easy to manipulate people with social media. I'm like, damn, I'll be telling Chandler, I'm like, Chandler, man, if I had a scamming spirit, if I was one of those people that, 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 that man, didn't have a conscience and, and, and just just had, like you know, like a, a person who just don't mind taking from people and stealing from people, guys, I would be a very good scam artist. Because I just realized it's so easy, to, 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 especially with social media. Man, I can go get 50 grand right now, lay it out on the table, come up with this story, how this get rich scheme, and people will fall for it. That's what most of these people do. And you guys don't even understand that. Y'all don't even see it. So every time somebody come on here and they make it look easier, y'all jump on it. Y'all jump on that. Oh, man, yeah, he right. I don't need all that, so I'm going to jump over here. Yeah, yeah, I don't need that. But in, in but in reality, in reality, guys, y'all the one crying. Y'all the one dealing with, you know, not having enough money to go on vacation, not having enough money to take care of your family, not having enough money to do the things you want to do in your life. You the one that have to deal with it. I don't have to deal with it. Okay? You are the one that have to deal with it. So all I'm saying, all I'm saying Stop being a loser. Stop looking for the easy way out. I really see why a small portion of the people in this world, a very small portion of these people in the, in the world is, are, are wealthy, rich, living lives that most of us won't live because those people understand. They understand the mindset. They understand the process behind it. And a lot of us don't, because why? We're looking for the easy way out. You know, I said this yesterday. It's a whole lot easier to, 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 to stand at the bottom of the mountain and look up. But it's a whole lot harder to climb that damn mountain to get to the top. And that's what a lot of us are doing, guys. We're just standing at the bottom of the mountain just looking up. Just That's all. They're, they're standing there looking up. It's a whole lot easier, guys, to, to, to go get a sign that says, I need money. You know, stand on the corner begging for money, but it's a whole lot harder to build an empire. It's a whole lot harder, guys, to to become financially stable. But a lot of people don't understand that, so they just look for the easy way out. So every time somebody come along and they tell you you don't need this and you don't need that, you jump on it because you have a losing mentality. Why? Because it looks easy. It looks easy. You know, I'm the kind of person, man, if you want to show me something, if you want to show me something, that's just who I am. Show me. Don't show me pulling up in no damn jobs, talking about how many jobs you got today, how much you're doing your jobs for. Do what I do. That's what I do, guys. I show you how to get the jobs, how to relate to the customer, okay? How to build your business. How did you get to this point? Those are the questions I ask. A lot of you guys, you don't even ask those questions. You just you just jump on the first band. If somebody come up, may make it look easy. Oh, that's the answer. But you're not even asking the right questions. How did you get? Where did you come from? You know, how did you get in this business? How did you get started? Okay, how did you get this cus these customers? You know, who's your ideal customer? How are you marketing? How are you branding? So many questions need to be asked before we start applying to people for just turning on a damn camera shooting a damn video at a job like i tell god this is the easy part i'm gonna go do a job now i get to this job and pull out my camera and say hey guys i'm at this job 350 dollars i mean that impresses you that that really impresses you because i'm at a job cleaning some damn carpet no guys what what, what should be impressing you is how they got there how did you get there how, how did you get to where you are not not now clean pushing a down one on camera who cares okay that's the easy part i'm in the house now that's the easy part all right so uh, anyway guys a lot of you guys man i'm telling you i went through it for so long i went for it i went through it for so long all right you're gonna keep looking up years gonna keep going by time gonna keep flying right past your ass and you still going to be stuck in the same position, same position you are because you don't know what the hell you want to do. You don't know what you want to do. 
you know, don't. All right, guys.